है तू सभी तेरे खुदा मेरे तू बख्शीश स व ी क ् र ा ब Can I hear response once again loudly, please? สวัสดีครับ I am pleased to declare b i w a we can talk number 284, 26th anniversary open. Let's all rise for the Thai national anthem. Please be seated. A warm welcome to each one of us. It's a long way, 26 years, and 283 get-together meetings, talk in the last 26 years. For those whose chair is facing the back of the stage, if you have finished with your food, please kindly turn your chair to face the stage, please. Be comfortable. Turn your chair to face the stage. We started today with beautiful songs, musical instruments by MISB students, Modern International School of Bangkok, especially in tribute to our great King, His Majesty the King, the Ninth King, p u m i p o n n a d u n y a n d a r e When I was a boy, going to a school, growing up in Bangkok, I was among the very few boy to have to carry lunchbox to my school because vegetarian and vegan was unknown in Thailand. The moment I lunch, eat my lunch, open my lunchbox, all the boys would laugh at me. What is this boy eating? That's the kind of childhood I have grown up. We've come a long way. 26 years ago, be, before we started this movement, not even one vegetarian outlet on Sukhumvit Road. Today, in 26 years, more than two dozen, just on Sukhumvit Road, more than two dozen Indian, Thai, Chinese, Japanese, Italian, and out of these two dozen, at least five or six is a pure vegan, vegetarian without dairy and eggs. All over Bangkok, more than 100. All over Thailand, more than 700. We have achieved a lot, but still a long way to go. I like to officially open this 26th anniversary by welcoming some of our guests of honor. First of all, join me in welcoming. Dr. Art Ong Chum Sai on the stage, please. <laughs> Dr. Art Ong Chum Sai is an engineer by profession from University of Cambridge, the same university where Sir Isaac Newton was. For a short while, he was also a politician. You know. To be in politics anywhere in the world, clean people cannot stay very long. I think probably Dr. Art Ong is too clean for politics. <laughs> Eventually, he found his true calling to be an educator. He today run a school called Satya Sai School, whose canteen is 100% vegetarian. We have Satya Sai School students with us 
will be properly introduced a little later. One thing I like to highlight about Dr. Art Ong is he was the brainchild to have designed parts for NASA, US Space Agency, for one of the spacecraft to have landed on Mars successfully, smoothly. A big round of applause once again. I would like Kun Jubilan Aurora, please, to present a token of appreciation on behalf of Biva to our guest of honor. Thank you, thank you. We like Dr. Art Ong to remain standing for a while. I like to invite another good friend of mine. We have been friends for 30 years. Join me in welcoming Dr. Darwin Narula. We first worked with each other in Lions Club 30 years ago. He's a kind of doctor that is very approach on holistic. Do not, does not look at patients as a customer, as somebody to prescribe medicines and injection, but look at patient more as a holistic. Director of Sukhumvit Hospital, we warmly welcome you. We like to have Kundao, please. Kundao. Yes. Kundao runs an animal sanctuary to present a token of appreciation to Dr. Darwin Narula. Uh, kindly remain standing so that we, we take the photo at the end. Another good friend and also a teacher, a master, I think almost everyone in Thailand should know him. Join me in welcoming Ajahn Thinawat Malikpi Thak. A master of public speaking who has successfully run more than 800 batches, more than 800, my figure is correct? 829, 829 batches. I think probably in, in, in my own estimation, probably the longest running batch of any courses in Thailand on public speaking. And on, on I, I'm sure many of us here probably have attended uh, this public speaking course. And he is also known as Dale Carnegie of Thailand. But to be not a Dale Carnegie of Thailand, a unique Ajahn Thinawat Malik Piktak. We warmly welcome you, sir. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, 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 almost the same time, Ajahn Thinawat get into politics. Almost the same time with Dr. Art Ong. But as I mentioned, clean, clean politician, same party. Clean politician cannot stay very long. Yes. <laughs> ten years. Ten five, years. Five times through election. F five times through election. Okay. Also five times through election. Three times through election. Okay. In Thailand, you can easily get into politics without going through election. But again, we have a politician here five times, three times into politics through election. Very clean. I can, I can assure, I can assure, I can endorse the most clean politician. Once again, a big round of applause. Can I have Kun Kwang, please? Yes, to present a token of appreciation to officially welcome Ajahn Thinawat Malik Pithak.
another very good friend of mine. We chat online almost daily. Yes. Join me in welcoming Ajahn Palopklit Yanwat, please. Ajahn Palop recently retired as a senior executive vice president of Government Housing Bank. We have been good friends for at least 30 years. We work together in many real estate forums. We, it's an honor for us to welcome you here. We like to officially welcome you, sir. Can we have Kun Peaceful, please? Kun Peaceful to officially welcome. Okay, we move forward. Another good friend of mine also in real estate circles. Ajahn Dr. Sopon Pon Chok Chai, please. Also good friend for the last 30 years since we helped to found to, to have set up the first real estate broker association in Thailand. The largest real estate business school in Thailand, the largest Property Information Center in Thailand, probably the, the information under Dr. Sopon Ponchuk Chai banner is probably, in my opinion, more up to date than government figure. Yes. <laughs> Can we have Kun Rachani one, please, to officially welcome Dr. Sopon? All the products we have presented you, all organic and vegan products. Now another good friend of mine who has been who has stood by my side when we started this movement 26 years ago join me in welcoming Ajahn Virendra Arora please Ajahn Aurora is a church pastor in Seventh-day Adventist Church. We have been good friends for almost the time you, you came from India to Thailand. Yes. And also we, we, we formed a team to start this movement 26 years ago. Can we have Kun Jebele please to present uh, official welcome to Ajahn Aurora. Can we also welcome Dr. Kamaljit Singh, please? <laughs> Dr. Kamaljit Singh is uh, probably of all my guest of honor on the stage, has been my friend for the shortest period okay how many years now uh, six years six years since six years but in this six years we work hand in hand together for biwa for vegan cause 
we appreciate your commitment, your focus for Biwa and Vegan cause. We like to have Kun Panarat, please. Kun Panarat to officially, yes. Kun Panarat to officially welcome Dr. Kamal Yeet Singh. Also, I like to use this opportunity to welcome our three panel speakers. I like to invite all the three charming ladies on the stage to officially welcome Kun Yim Kalayani Yim Siri. Yes. Yes. Kun Bridi Reed, please. Kun Marisel Lu Khanit, please. The three charming ladies serving as our panel speakers today. And they are all vegan activists. Kun Jim running her own vegan cafe, restaurant, outlet, four or five outlets now. Kun Bridie is a teacher at the NIST, NIST, New International School. Kun Marisel is a food, vegan food educator and also a caterer, yes. We uh, like to have Kun Vijay Kumar, please. Kun Vijay Kumar, yes. To officially welcome Kun, Kun Jim, please. Yes. Yeah. And then we can have Kun Anurag, please. Kun Anurag, yes, to welcome Kun Bridi. We are presenting you a gift before your talk. <laughs> so that, so, yeah. <laughs> so that you have to fulfill your duty now. <laughs> yes. Can we also have Kun Sundar, please, to present a warm welcome to Kun Marisel. <laughs> Last, I'd like to call on the stage is a representative from Japan Vegetarian Association who would like to sign MOU, friendship MOU with us tonight. They, they, are the, they were the ones to have contacted us and uh, to have representative with us tonight to sign MOU, friendship with us. Join me in welcoming Ajahn Sheng Si, please. Yes. It's a traditional Chinese doctor. Can we have Kun Didier, please, to present a token of appreciation and welcome to Japan Vegetarian Association? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Can we have uh, one photo before we all walk down? Can I take it? I like to take over from now. I want to say a word about Dr. Kamaljeet. When he became a member of Biva, after that his daughter got married in India. And as per the Sikh wedding, they were supposed to have all non-vegetarian plus vegetarian. But he went and talked to her in-laws and convince them, and for all the 700 guests in a five-star hotel, they changed the menu, and if all the food was vegetarian. 
Okay, I'm very proud of Dr. Kamaljeet for taking that stand, firm stand. And we all got appreciated, but the person who did the most amount of work, can you tell me who is that? Mr. Paul. Mr. Paul, right? Okay, so we should express our appreciation to him. Okay for what he has done and like to invite Dr. Elvi Villanua to please come and present a token to him. Dr. Elvi, you're lucky she doesn't have her knife in the hand. She's a surgeon at the Bangkok Adventist Hospital. Achan Ponthev Sinarula, the founder and founding president of Vegetarian Veg Bangkok, and now it's called Biva. Okay, we have changed the name several times. Okay, first it was Veg Bangkok, then it became Vegetarian Club of Bangkok, and now it is called Biva. And Dr. Art Ong Chum Sayena Ayutthaya, the charter president, and all the VIP guests on this table and the, our guest speakers, it's my honor and privilege to welcome all of you this evening. Official welcome on behalf of Biva on the 26th anniversary celebration. And we want to thank all those people who have been supporting for all these years and even those who have just started supporting us recently. I have been given a list and the first people on the list are the Seventh-day Adventists. May I ask all the Seventh-day Adventists to please stand up. All the Seventh-day Adventists, please stand up. Okay. And I am a... I'm a Seventh-day Adventist too. So I guess that's why Achan Pontev gave me that list. First one is Seventh-day Adventist, all that. Okay. And Seventh-day Adventists worldwide are known for their vegetarian lifestyle. Okay, if you don't know, you can start, take, the, take a look at the internet and find out about the Loma Linda studies. Okay, and uh, we are uh, among the first three groups in the world who are known for the vegetarian lifestyle. And uh, next people that I like to welcome is the people on Mr. Raj table, Mr. Sutham Sachapimuk and P. Somsong. Okay. Will you please stand up so people can see you? And Mr. Surinder Yamdagni and Mr. Vikas Banga. Please all stand up on that table. I don't know your name, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, we want to welcome you. Okay. We are glad you're here this evening. Okay. And next people I want to welcome is Dr. Alka Gupta, Mr. Saurav Katyar. Everybody on that table, please stand up. <laughs> welcome. Okay. Sorry, we miss Artina. Artina just came in. Artina, will you stand up, please? Artina is uh, promoting the organic hair dye and uh, henna, okay, and some other health products. Okay, her booth is outside. Please make sure you take a look at that. Okay, the hair dye that she is promoting will color your hair only, not your face. <laughs> okay, so don't worry about that. And uh, the singers here, 
Mr. Come on. Yeah, will you please stand up? And you have the table here also. The people from MISB. This table also, please. Yes, please stand up. We, we want to give you a welcome. Glad you are here. Okay. And uh, Mr. Sethi is here. Mr. Suthep Narula. That table, Sister Ananya. Mr. Ismail. All the, everybody stand up on that table, please. Uh, yes, welcome. Glad you are here. And uh, the student from Satya High School. Very good. These are the vegetarian students, MISB and the Satya Sai School. Glad you are here. Welcome. Yindi ton rap na khab, khab chow pon na khab. Chen nang khab. Now, I'm not sure of the names of these people here on these two tables. Can I ask you to stand up, please, behind Dr. Elka? Dr. Elka, can you ask? Yeah. We want to welcome you. Okay. Glad you are here. And the next table behind you. Yes, please. Welcome. Glad you are here. God bless you. Have a good evening. And then we have Mr. Martin's table here. Mr. Martin is a long-time member and supporter, and he has been a vegetarian. You were vegetarian since you were five years old. Okay, let's give a hand to Mr. Martin. And everybody, please stand up here on this table. Okay, welcome. Glad you are here. And then Dr. Elvi's table. Mr. Anurag Kaushik, please. And your friend is here. Glad you are here. Okay, welcome. And Mr. Vijay's table, please. Everybody stand up. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mr. Vijay Kumar is running a school that serves only vegetarian food. Is that correct? How many students do you have? 140 students. And how old is your school? Four years. Only four years old. Only four years old school with 140 students and serving vegetarian food only. Let's give him a hand, please. Yes. Very good. You are a very good example for us. Okay. And then, Basha, you have some people on your table. Will you please all stand up? Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> okay. And the last table here, please. Actually, the first table. Please stand up. Okay. Glad you are here. Okay. okay. Did I miss anybody? People who are standing at the back. Everybody is welcome. Glad you are here. People who are standing outside. But remember, once the meeting starts and the speakers are on the table, I'll be the policeman. Okay, I'll make sure that you're not talking. So if you don't want to be embarrassed, please don't talk. Okay? Remember that. Okay? So I'll be walking around and checking who is talking and who is not. I will stop you. Okay? So let's listen. Why? Why am I so strict about it? Because the information that we give here, the experience that we share here, are very important. Okay, they are good for us. It's a matter of life and death. And I don't want any of you to die. I want you to live healthy and happy. Okay. So please make sure. If you have something important to share, wait till the end. Okay. Your turn will come. You can talk later. But once the meeting starts, our speakers are here. Let's be quiet and listen quietly. Okay. I did not introduce myself, but Achan Panthev did, right? So I don't need to. Okay. And God bless you all. Have a pleasant evening and good evening. Thank you.
I'm sure now we feel we are much closer with each other. We are no longer among strangers. We get to know each other. Once again, a big round of applause to all of us. I like to move into an appetizer of this evening before the main program, before the highlight of the evening, which is our usual practice. Every anniversary, we were founded on Mahatma Gandhi's birthday, 2nd October 1991. So every year we tribute to Mahatma Gandhi. And especially this year, we like to tribute to our great king, his majesty, the king Pumi Pon Adunjadet, the ninth king of Thailand. I like to ask for a volunteer from the floor. Probably five each. We'll start with our beloved king. Whoever wish to come up to express tribute to our king, we'll limit to five. And then the second round, we'll move to Mahatma Gandhi. We'll limit to five. And we have some small gift for you, please. We'll start with our beloved king. Anyone wish to come up on the stage, please. You can either express your tribute in Thai or English. Rian Chern Kun Ma San Sern Pa Barami Lachakan Tikao Pasa Ankrit Lu Pasa Thai Godai Naha Law Black Maker and Hat Han Law Ti Song San Sern Mahan Makan Ti Maker and Hat Han Law Jami Lang Wan Hai Lek 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 Noi Naha Jack Sponsor Kong Law Wan Nina Cup Learn Jack We start with our beloved king please English or Thai is okay. Just keep it very short, one minute, two minute, half minute, one minute, two minute. Yes. Anyone? Yes. Okay. And we like to invite Kun Arti and Kun Bromchit who will be presenting a small gift for all the speakers, please, to stand by right here. Yes. Yes, please. This is a uh, organic vegan hair color, probably, probably uh, a cosmetic, uh, cosmetic and personal care, vegan organic. And the other, the other one is a uh, organic herbal toothpaste. Yes. All, both locally, lo uh, uh, imported. One, the cosmetic is from Germany. From Germany. From, oh, okay, yes. Next, tribute to our beloved king, please. Yes, please.
I came to Thailand 46 years back from India where kings were losing their importance. But in 1972, our beloved king opened Asian Highway and I saw him for the first time at Bang, uh, near Bang Pain when the road was opened up to Chiang Mai. And since all these years, I have come to realize what a great man we have in our, uh, we had in our King Bhumi Wall. He has worked in agricultural field, he has worked in irrigation, and given people hope and better life. So I should say that Thai people and we all are very blessed and lucky to have uh, lived under his patronage. Yes. Uh, please stand by for a small gift. Yes, please. Personal care. Yes, from Kun. Oh, oh, okay. Herbal, herbal hair powder, organic, vegan. Yes, yes. And also herbal toothpaste. Newly launched. Yes. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Tribute to our beloved king, please. Either English or Thai, please. Yes, please. So I moved to Thailand last year, mm. uh, right before the king's passing. And I've never ever experienced this much love for a single person. Because my office told me that everybody has to wear black. And I didn't realize how important it was. And I walked in and everybody was wearing black. And when I've seen in Thailand, the lines that I've seen, and I always tell some people in my office that if somebody can make this much of a difference, he must have been the greatest personality that we have right now. So I just want to say that you guys are very lucky that you guys have had a, had a king like that, a leader like that, and the world could use more people like that. Mm, very Thank good. You. Now please stand by for a small gift from our sponsors. We can have two more for our beloved king, please. Tribute to our king, yes. His majesty was Thailand's guiding light. The monarch regarded far and wide as father for the nation, took the country out of several deadly turns with his wise counseling. His forti fortitude and devotion for to human development were on the inspiration to all, regardless of the differences and disparities across the Thai society. His majesty was a solitary constant, a beacon of hope for Thais and rich, as well as poor, young and old rural farmers and the urban residents alike. His Majesty King, selflessness and the university and compassion will always be remembered to honor the monarch. Thais must learn a lesson, follow in his footsteps and carry on his royal legacies. He has gone but not forgotten. Thank you. Please remain standing. Yes, please. <laughs> แล้วก็เดี๋ยวผมจะเชิญอีกท่านขึ้นมาแล้วก็เอ่อออนก็เป็นคนเอานี้ขึ้นมาวางบนโต๊ะเราจะเซ็นสัญญาเนี่ยเ
I am a Christian and I looked at His Majesty the King Bhumipon from the Word of God, what it says. The Word of God says, a throne is established by righteousness. Righteousness means right doing. A throne is established by righteousness and upholden by showing mercy to the poor. And it is not right for the kings to eat out of time and drink. It's not good for the princes to be drunk in the morning. It is good for them to eat in season, in due season, at the right time. And everything that I found in the word of God, I find it true in the life of his Majesty, the King Bhumipo. So in other words, when he passed away, I was very sure that he has done a good job and he had the approval of God. And God had blessed him. He ruled, he was the longest ruling monarch, right? Okay. So the word of God became true. A throne is established by righteousness and upholden by showing mercy to the poor. And the number of projects His Majesty had for the poor, it's amazing. So there's a lesson for all of us from the life of His Majesty King Bhumipon. Because each one of us is a king or a prince in our own place or a queen or a princess. We all have a duty to perform that is within our authority, within our jurisdiction and we must do it the best we can. And when we do the best we can, God will match the rest and we will be a success. So let's learn a lesson from His Majesty the King Bhumipon's life and be a king or a queen or a prince or a princess in the place that we are. God bless you. Yeah, please remain on the stage, please. please. Can we have last person for this round, please? Be yes, tribute to our beloved king. สวัสดีครับท่านผู้มีเกียรติทั้งหลายผมคุณเปรมญาติเศรษฐีในฐานะที่ผมมาในงานประชุมวันนี้เพราะว่าคุณพรเทพเชื้อเชิญผมมา ผมเป็นหนึ่งในชาวอินเดียที่ทานมังสวิรัติตั้งแต่เกิดการทานมังสวิรัติหนึ่งชีวิตสามารถช่วยคนได้หนึ่งหมื่นคนผมอยู่
ท่านเคยเสด็จไปที่อําเภอแม่สอดจังหวัดตากที่ผมมีกิจการค้าตั้งแต่สมัยคุณปู่คุณพ่อผมขณะที่ท่านลงเครื่องบินท่านได้เดินมาหาคุณพ่อผมคุณพ่อผมก็ดีใจมากก็ถวายและท่านยังบอกว่าชาวอินเดียที่อยู่ประเทศไทยมาจากทวีปที่ถือศาสนาพุทธเราเป็นประเทศไทยซึ่งถือศาสนาพุทธเหมือนกับท่านขอให้อยู่แบบฉันพี่น้องตั้งแต่นั้นมาจนถึงบัดนี้ผมทราบซึ่งในความรักของท่านสุดเหลือขนาดนับเมื่อท่านเสด็จสวรรคตปีที่แล้วข้าพเจ้าไม่สามารถนอนหลับสองคืนเพราะว่าเสียใจสุดซึ่งที่ท่านจากไปจะหาพระเจ้าแผ่นดินแบบนี้ในโลกนี้ไม่มีอีกแล้วตอนนี้เรามีแต่ว่าขอนั่งสวดอธิษฐานสิ่งศักดิ์สิทธิ์ทั้งหลายในโลกขอให้ท่านไปอยู่บนสวงสวรรค์อันสูงส่งสวัสดีครับอขอขอยืนอยู่บนเวทีก่อนครับเดี๋ยวเรามีของที่ระลึกมอบให้เชิญครับเราวีมูฟทูเดอะเน็กซ์ราวน์ทริบิวต์ทูมหาตมาการดีวีเวอร์ฟาวนเดดออนเวนส์เดย์เซ็กันออกตอเบอร์1991 26 years ago วีเอสเปเชียลีโชเซนมหาตมาการดีส์เบิร์ดเดย์ทูลอนจ์ดิสมูฟเมนต์เราเริ่มก่อตั้งวันคล้ายวันเกิดท่านมหาตมาคานทีวันที่2ตุลาเป็นวันพุธเมื่อปี2534 26ปีที่แล้วเพราะนั้นเราจะทําเป็นธรรมเนียมประจํา It has been our usual practice tribute to Mahatma Gandhi. Please, can we have around five, one by one, please? Yes, please. Yes. MISB to, uh, school. Uh, both schools represented today: MISB and Satya Sai School. Canteen. Their canteen is 100% vegetarian. We have uh, leadership from. MISB school seated there, Mr. Ganga Singh, please. Can you please stand up? <laughs> And from Satya Sai School, of course, Ajahn Doctor At Ong, right, right here with us. Yes. <laughs> yes. From MISB school. Mahatma Gandhi was a very great personality and had a very pure soul. Today, we few representatives from MISB will say a mantra for him. Mahatma Gandhi is a person who has a great and great in India and all over the world. He has a great mind and a great mind. And today, we will talk about MISB students from MISB. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 Patit Pavan Sita Ram, Ishwar Allah Tero Naam, Sabko Sammati De Bhagwan, Jai Raghunandan Jai Siya Ram, Janki Vallabh Sita Ram, Raghupati Raghav Raja Ram, Patit Pavan Sita Ram. Thank you. Please remain on the stage, please. We have some gifts. Yes. We'll have maybe two more. Two more. So you can some organic hair colors, which you can use because it's very safe for young kids. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Yes. Next, I think we have our usual performer, the cute little girl there. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Okay. Okay. Yes. Kun Kwang, please. Yes. First, I would like to tribute for Mahatma Gandhi. Then she. Okay. Okay. Sure. Thank you. 
สวัสดีค่ะชื่อกวางนะคะวันนี้เป็นวันแรกแล้วก็ครั้งแรกที่กวางได้มาร่วมงานโดยการเชิญเชิญของคุณพอค่ะมีคนมากมายไปถามองค์อัตมาคานทีว่าพระองค์ทรงแปลกใจอะไรในมนุษยชาตินี่คือสิ่งที่กวางยึดถือมาตลอดนะคะองค์อัตมาคานทีพูดว่าพระองค์แปลกใจว่าทำไมมนุษย์มักจะเอาสุขภาพไปแลกกับเงินตรามนุษย์ทำงานหามรุ่งหามค่ำเพื่อแลกกับเงินตราจนเส้นเอ็นผังผืนและสุขภาพแย่ลงสุดท้ายก็เอาเงินตราที่หามารักษาสุขภาพกลับคืนแต่มันอาจจะช้าไปแล้วมนุษย์มักจะก,กังวลกับอนาคตจนไม่ได้อยู่กับปัจจุบันและก็ใช้ชีวิตอยู่ในอนาคตเปรียบเสมือนว่าจะไม่มีวันตายไปแต่สุดท้ายพอมนุษย์ตายไปมนุษย์ก็ลืมที่จะใช้ชีวิตอยู่นั่นเองวันนี้กวางอยากจะเซเลบตทั้งองค์อาไรดาไรลามะค่ะว่าวันนี้เราทุกท่านในห้องนี้ได้ตัดสินใจถูกแล้วที่ได้ใช้ชีวิตอันมีค่าไม่เบียดเบียนเลือดเนื้อไม่ฆ่าสัตว์ตัดชีวิตและเราหันมาได้ทานอาหารที่เรียกว่าเป็นอาหารที่ไม่เบียดเบียนใครเพราะเราเองก็รักชีวิตตัวเราเองจริงไหมคะสำหรับกวางแล้วกวางอยากจะบอกทุกท่านว่ากวางชื่นชมทุกท่านมากวันนี้กวางเลยตัดสินใจมาด้วยหัวใจ no better than heart with our word but if you had heart it Better more than word. Please do it. Continue. People will laugh at you, but then they will copy you. ค่ะขอบคุณค่ะสวัสดีค่ะ I think last for this round is a lovely mother and daughter team. Yes. Will be last for this round. Then we'll move to the next session. Okay. Yes. Join me in welcoming the last team for this round. Okay. Sure. sure. Good evening, everyone. Namaste, Savadika. Today, uh, I would like to sing few lines of one of the favorite bhajan of Mahatma Gandhi, uh, Vaishnav Jante ne kahiye. वैष्णव जन तो तेने कहिए पीर पराई जाने रे पर दुखे उपकार करे तो ये मन अभिमान वैष्णव जन तो तेने कहिए जे पीर पराई जाने रे सकल लोक मा सहुने बंदे निंदा न करे वाच काछ मन निश्चल राखे धन धन जननी ते नीरे वैष्णव जन तो ते ने कहिए जे पीर पराई जाने रे समदृष्टि ने तृष्णा त्यागी पर स्त्री जे ने मात्रे जिव्यात की असत्य न बोले पर धन नव जल हाथ 
वैष्णव जान तो तेने कही ये जे पीर पराई जाने रे basically this bhajan is in uh, one of uh, the language of uh, country india gujarati the meaning of uh, this bhajan is in i i explain you in few lines one who is vaishnav devot uh, devotee of vishnu knows the pain of others does good to others without letting pride error his mind a vaishnav tolerates and praises the entire world does not speak ill of others keeps his promises action and thoughts pure your mother is blessed indeed thank you हमें आजादी बिना खडग बिना ढाल साबरमती के संत तूने कर दिया कमाल रघुपति राघव राजा राम कैन यू फॉलो विद मी दे दी हमें आजादी बिना खडग बिना ढाल साबरमती के संत तूने कर दिया कमाल रघुपति राघव राजा राम नाउ लास्ट फॉर दिस सेशन नेक्स्ट लवली डॉटर ऑफ डॉक्टर अलका गुप्ता एंड सौरभ खतिया गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन नमस्ते स्वाति खा My name is Shrutkirti. I study in MISP, and I'm singing song "Last Christmas" by Wham. The song is dedicated to this beautiful evening today. Hope you all enjoy. Last Christmas I gave you my heart but the very next day you gave it away this year to save me from tears I'll give it to someone special Last Christmas I gave it my heart but the very next day you gave it away this year to save me from tears I'll give it to someone special Once bitten and twice shy I keep my distance but you still catch my eye Tell me baby do you recognize me Well it's been a year it doesn't surprise me Merry Christmas I wrapped it up and sent it with a note saying I love you I meant it Now I know what a fool I've been but if you kissed me now I know you'd fool me again Last Christmas I gave you my heart but the very next day you gave it away This year to save me from tears I'll give it to someone special Last Christmas I gave my heart but the very next day you gave it away This year to save me from tears I'll give it to someone special A crowded room, friends with tired eyes. I'm hiding from you, and your soul of fire. My God, I thought you were someone to rely on me. I guess I was a shoulder to cry on, a face on a lover with fire in his heart, a girl undercover, but you tore her apart. Maybe the seal gave it to someone special. Last Christmas I gave you my heart 
But the very next day you gave it away This year to save me from tears I'll give it to someone special Last Christmas This year won't be anything like Anything like last Christmas I gave you my heart But the very next day you gave it away This year to save me from tears I'll give it to someone special Thank you Beautiful, beautiful, yes สองตัวครับผมอับบิกราวน์เนอะพลอสทูออลออฟเดมเอสเปเชียลีออลเดอะยังบอยส์ยังเกิร์ลส์ยูซีนออนเดอะสเตจเดย์อาร์อัลฟิวเจอร์วันเดย์เดย์วิลลีดบีวาและวันเดย์เดย์วิลลีดวีแกน Into the future. Yeah. yeah, please. Yeah. We've just given some hair colors. If you want to exchange them, we can do that for you because it should match you. I didn't know who's going to come, so please come to our stay table and you can do that. Thank you. Now we'll move into the next session very quick. Now we'll we'll keep each uh, try to keep each session very quick for the MOU friendship signing with Vegetarian Association from Japan. Join me in welcoming Ajahn Sengsi, please. Yes. Both association and the person concerned shall endeavour to aim at further development in the health and we can feel and deepen mutual understanding. And relationship and contribute to the promotion of friendship. We'll have a small celebration for our 26th anniversary. Can we welcome our guest of honor, please, and Biwa Committee for the traditional celebration with cake cutting. Cake provided complimentary is a vegan cake provided complimentary by Kunkalayani Vikanri. Also, we like to have all the three panel speakers along, please. And uh, Ajahn Seng Si, si please. Yes. yes. Now we follow Indian tradition. Last year we had uh, uh, Dr. Nan Kishore Sharma as our guest of honor. 
And then from his feedback, he informed us that as per Indian tradition, we are in favor of lights. So we do not blow off the lights. We, we keep the, 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 the lights on. The, because light is a, is a good sign. Yes. But actually it has a symbol. Yeah. In the Western yes. culture, one, the number of candles that we put on the cake, that means that these number of years are gone already. Okay. Yeah, so that's the symbol. Okay, okay, sure. So, are we singing or are we having a music playing? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Yes, I can't be, I can't at all. <laughs> to, as a, as a, yes, yes, yes. You hold the hands. Yes, yes. We'll, have, we'll all have a chance to taste this cake while we move to the next program. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Once again, join me in welcoming global vegan female activists. Now, first of all, as a part of the panel, rather than me officially introducing you uh, by, by reading your bio data, I'd like you to introduce yourself to be part of the panel discussion. Can you please, one by one, introduce yourself, what your, what your name, what your name is, what do you do, where are you from? Just keep it very short, this, this session, please, one by one. Okay, I'm Bridie, Bridie Reed, and I'm Australian-British, and I've been living in Thailand for, I guess, about six years altogether. Uh, my day job is I'm a teacher at an international school. My name is Galayani Yimsili. I, I am now running a vegan restaurant and vegan cafe in Bangkok. Hello, good evening. I am Maricel uh, from Germany. And I am, uh, I've been here in Bangkok for about over three years now. And I'm a personal vegan chef. And I conduct different kinds of workshops and special dinner events here around in Bangkok. And yes, that's what I do. And um, yeah. <laughs> okay, now one by one again. If you can, first of all, confirm that you are vegan. And then followed by another question. How long you have, have you been a vegan? And when, when did you, when did you, uh, or when and how did you actually know that, that, that vegan will, will, will eventually be your life? Yes. Okay. Shall I start? Yeah. All right. Uh, I became vegan uh, over five years ago. Um, I left Germany 2009 and I uh, decided for myself, basically I lost, you know, I quit my job, I, I sold everything I owned and cut it down to 15 kilos and I started to just leave Germany and uh, start traveling the world and during that time I, um, I became vegan. Uh, because I've watched a documentary called Earthlings and it really impacted me and inspired me to dig deeper and get more information about veganism and that's what I did, so I started studying and about our nutrition, what impact it has in our body, but not only in our health, but also environmentally. So um, once I got to know all this information, I decided for myself to become vegan from today to tomorrow. And that's what I did. And um, throughout this journey, it was amazing for me. It was an amazing experience because uh, I love cooking. I'm a I'm a chef and I, I just, you know, for me it was very, very easy to, to adapt to the situation, to the differences and also it was um, so motivating because suddenly I got to know so many different products that I didn't even know before and uh, so just few people know that, that uh, vegan food can be so versatile and, and so many differences, so many different products that you can choose from and that's what I um, actually figured out for myself during that time and that's why yeah, since, since that I've been cooking for people, you know, creating uh, recipes. Um, I've collected throughout my uh, travels, I've collected different kinds of recipes all over the world and um, made a vegan version out of it. Because you can also eat everything 
on a vegan version, on a plant-based version. So, yeah, that is my story on becoming Okay, vegan. we'll come back to you next. Same question. I have been vegan for eight years. And I turned vegan because of uh, a channel called Supreme Master TV. And she is Supreme Master Xinghai. And um, after that, um, I didn't know anything about vegan food. Um, I, I become uh, rather than in, in terms of animal activist uh, about the philosophy. And uh, my philosophy is uh, justice and compassion. And, and later on, um, my, my daughter and my family, uh, my daughter, she would like to make the um, bakery. So I support her. And at that, that time, she already be a vegan already. So we start with the small bakery um, to sell in the farmer market. That's uh, where we met Ajahn Pond over there. That's, uh, we start to be friends since then at the small market. And uh, now uh, we run... Um, vegan restaurant. But the recipe and uh, all the restaurant work um, uh, are more in, in my, my, my daughter's and my son's hand. But me, I myself, I am uh, very interested in uh, joining and um, um, making the activity in animal activists and convert the people to turn vegan and make them think. This is uh, my talent, I think. Okay. I can certainly vouch for your talent in <laughs> speaking to people. <laughs> sure. Um, okay, so I've been vegan for uh, nearly nine years, I think, and I was vegetarian for 20 years before that. And I um, became vegetarian because I didn't want to hurt animals. And uh, I kind of had this idea that uh, you didn't have to kill animals to get eggs or to get milk. And when I realized that, I was very shocked and surprised. And I realized that I needed to do something. And the information that I came across, which uh, I really recommend to everyone, is uh, a podcast by uh, Colleen Patrick Goudreau called Food for Thought. And it was an extremely profound awakening for me to, to be aware of this information. Uh, I remember having a particularly poignant moment when I was uh, laying, uh, laying in bed. I was living in Hanoi at the time and uh, listening to this podcast about the feather industry and finding out what has to happen to um, ducks and geese in order to... Uh, create feather jackets and things like that and here was me laying on my feather pillow thinking that I wasn't harming animals. So um, that was quite a profound moment for me um, and I've, I, it's, it's like I'm sure my amazing comrades on this sofa here would agree it was just the best decision that I ever made. I, um, it's become my purpose in life to try to share the joys and benefits of a vegan lifestyle. It's, uh, without a doubt, the best thing is in my life. It's given me a real sense of purpose and uh, it's just a wonderful, wonderful thing. Okay, now before we continue, yes, before we continue, for those who are still hungry, we still have a lot of food. You can help yourself and come back and while listening, you can still enjoy food. Yes. Make yourself comfortable. Enjoy eating while listening. But be quiet. Of course. <laughs> now, Kun Bridey mentioned the word vegetarian, vegan. I'm sure there are some new people, new to vegetarian, new to vegan. My next question is, what is actually vegan? What is vegan? What, what, is, what is it different from, from vegetarian? And why, why vegan is the ultimate? Vegetarian is, is not enough. My next question, we start with Kun Jim, please. <laughs> A vegetarian is still having something cruelty, you know, like um, they still drink milk, they still eat eggs, so there are cruelties, a lot of cruelty to the mother and child, 
mother and shy. Okay? And just infant. So, just uh, extreme cruelty. It's better to, uh, like, uh, to kick <laughs> a man, you know, but not a small student, infant, just mm, given birth or a mother. This is why vegan, we, we give importance to uh, stop drinking milk and egg. It's uh, very, very different from which uh, vegan is very different from vegetarian. So we have only two choices: vegan and non-vegan. No vegetarian. Okay. So vegan means no animal-based food, including no to eggs and dairy. Kun Brady, you have anything to add to the, the term vegan definition? <laughs> sure. Well, uh, veganism is about uh, trying to live a life whenever it's practical and possible without uh, using or exploiting animals. And dairy and eggs does involve the exploitation of uh, chickens and uh, cows. And uh, I just want to add on to... Uh, what Yin was saying here about uh, about dairy and eggs is it's it's very it's very much exploitation of uh, the female reproductive system. The uh, as a woman and uh, as as a woman, it could be uh, very painful to have your baby taken away from you or to be or essentially um, molested in order to uh, have about to be pregnant to um, have babies and uh, as a woman as a feminist uh, I can't participate in that practice so um, while it may seem at first glance that dairy and eggs you know the animal isn't killed they still go through incredible cruelty they have their babies taken away and then they're killed so uh, I would agree I mean vegetarian is a great start but uh, if we really want to see this world uh, full of peace, then we really need to be peaceful to our fellow beings. So, so both, of, both of your comments is, uh, if, if you truly care for other life, you have to be vegan. Yes. Vegetarian, vegetarian is, is, is not a way, okay? Now, uh, this is emphasis on caring of other life. Now, how about health aspects? Coming to Kun Mari's health aspects, uh, what is bad about eggs and dairy? Okay, um, so if you're vegetarian, you still consume a lot of um, cheese and a lot of dairy and a lot of eggs. And as you might know, um, eggs contain has a lot of cholesterol. So instead of egg, you could uh, use, uh, for example, instead of egg, you could um, use tofu, scrambled tofu egg, which is very, very close to the scrambled egg that you used to know. Um, if you add some nutritional yeast and black salt, which is also called kalanamak. I don't know if, uh, if, if you know about kalanamak, but it's, it's a very, it's a black salt coming from the Himalaya and it's very high in sulfate and that's why it has a eggy, it has a eggy taste. If you, if you taste the salt, it, egg, it actually, it actually tastes like egg, you know, and, um, uh, combining that with tofu, you have a tofu scramble egg, and it's really not far from the original one. And um, in terms of milk, uh, it contains a lot of hormones. You know, you have to, you have just to think and ask yourself: um, the milk that is produced from a cow is uh, produced to grow, you know, um, a baby cow from 40 pounds up to up to 80 pounds within like. Yeah, not. I'm not sure about the just weight, weeks, but I think. sorry, just weeks, very quickly. Yeah, very quickly, within a very very short period of time. And in order for this uh, baby cow to grow that far, all this amount of hormones and you know, um, um, yeah, calories is in the milk for for the for the cow to grow that far to, that fast. But if you compare it to humans, we grow from, I don't know, four pounds to, no, four kilos up to 80 kilograms within like 20 years, 18, 20 years. And the milk that is um, designed for us is 
made from humans, which makes sense, right? So if we drink, so the baby cows or the cow's milk is not designed for us. It is not made for humans. Um, if you just think logically, it doesn't really make sense, right? And um, there are so many different other alternatives to cow milk. You have almond milk, oat milk, soy milk, there's no end, really. You have so many choices, not only cow's milk. And yeah, that are the health, uh, health, yeah, let's say health benefits or health uh, side, uh, how do you say? Like, like um, the disadvantages if you consume, you know, dairy and eggs. So all of you have, have touched on three, all, all three aspects. To say no to dairy and eggs, including caring for other life, pain, torture, including health, including common sense, logic. Now, how, how and what happened? You, you found your, your true calling to, to eventually become, you can say, as a, as a hobby, a vegan activist. Um, and what do you do? What do you do as a vegan activist? Can, can now we start with Kun Brady, please? Sure. Okay, so I'm, I'm really just a, an activist after work and sometimes during work, but <laughs> uh, mostly after work and really it's, it's um, as I said before, it's given me purpose, but there's many, many different things that I do. I, I really started off doing sort of things like just making cakes for oh. colleagues for staff meetings and things like that because that's all I was brave enough to do. And over the years, I've sort of become braver and braver and, uh, and I don't know, put myself out there more using, and using the skills that I have and trying to develop skills uh, along the way. So some things I'm doing now that I'm pretty excited about. Um, I'm one of the organisers for uh, the Anonymous for the Voiceless, which is the, um, the Bangkok chapter of Anonymous for the Voiceless. And uh, I'm very happy to, today that we have many of our volunteers in the audience here. And what we do is... Um, can, can, can we have your one volunteer to stand up, please? Sure. If you come and join us on a Cube of Truth, could you stand up? Yana Yim, Maricel. <laughs> okay. So what do you do? What, what okay, yeah. so um, a couple of times a month um, with some friends, uh, f foreigners and Thai people, we meet outside Benja Siri Park and we um, wear these, these Guy Fawkes masks and we hold out footage um, of standard agricultural practice of animal agriculture and um, at about five through till seven o'clock, so just as it's getting dark, just as people are coming in from, uh, coming into the park and then out the park as well, and they see this footage, and uh, this awful footage is um, often the first time that these people have seen this kind of thing, and they're often very shocked and surprised, and if they engage with the footage, if we see them looking at the footage, then we very kindly and very compassionately start a conversation with them and uh, explain what's going on, ask them if they've seen it before. And uh, they, sometimes they have, sometimes they haven't. And we just explain, answer their questions, explain what's going on and uh, just encourage them to make more kind and compassionate choices. So that's one of the things that I do. Um, I also mentor uh, for Challenge 22 Plus, which is a uh, online vegan challenge group that, uh, in, that supports people through a 22-day program to become vegan and stay vegan, but in a very kind and supportive way. So people join the group and uh, they're encouraged to go vegan and they interact with mentors and uh, they share any difficulties or struggles that they're having with us and we support them and and love them, and when they fall down, we pick them up again, and it's a very kind and compassionate place. So that's a couple of the things that I'm part of. You, you, were, you were having a campaign yesterday. Somewhere. We had a cube yesterday, yes. What, what was that? Uh, could, could Jim also there? She was. What, what, what was that? Could Jim, can you share a little more about what, what happened yesterday? Like, uh, people come around and we, sh uh, we show the video and... At the public place? At the public which, place. Which place was that? Yes. And no, uh, it's, I, I, am, I, I what, put my duty. What was the, what, what was the venue? Uh, ben, outside Benjisiri Park by Prompong BTS. Right, right on the footpath. 
Yes. Right on the food pad yes, outside the park. Yes, just the food pad. Okay. Yes. So that was uh, uh, you. You have done it before, right at that place. Uh, yes. We've been doing it for all of this year. All of this every year, several weeks. times there. Mm -hmm. yes. Any time you have you encountered some negative people, or maybe. <laughs> uh, 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 or, or get troubled by police or by some officer? Can can you share? Yeah. <laughs> no, um, I am Thai. You okay. know, so I do with the all the officer. And yes, the officer <laughs> come, the policeman. Mm. I came you know, once, and Brady, she trusts in me. Yeah. I said I can deal with the police, and so. I, t I talked to the police and I called the police to come to see. And I talk about the health. This uh, that's how I do with the the police. And I and so the police say, oh, I I am I have the gout. Gout. I say yes, we can help you. Okay. Yes, okay. Uh, to talk about health okay. and non-communicative disease. It's very powerful to deal with the Thai people, mm. especially uh, and the diabetes. Mm. Yeah. Uh, we all of the Thai people, I think about 70% mm. they contact diabetes. Mm. And uh, so I use the strategy of health um, to deal with them. And it works, even the uh, policemen. And policemen talk to me Quite a why, and he 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 said he would stop eating egg. No, really. Yes. Oh, so it works. It works even, even That's the uh, yeah. Yes. And then another uh, a couple of times that the policeman came, and I just invite him to. When I the 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 technique is that whenever I saw the police, I will go to. To, to say hello to them before they come to see me. Okay. Okay. Very good. Good, yeah. good. Maricel, what do you do as an activist? Okay. Um, I'm actually a personal chef and I create different kinds of workshops. As a personal chef, I am supporting clients and individuals with their diet. So I have a service called weekly meal preparation, uh, what means that I actually um, support my clients uh, with a tailored menu. So whatever their goals are or preferences, I will put together a tailored menu for them. And then I do the grocery, I come to their home and cook the dishes at their home and leave the kitchen clean and the fridge full of delicious items, lasting from Monday to Saturday for lunch or dinner, lunch and dinner, actually. And um, yeah, and you know, during, it's very interesting. Um, I have been doing that for almost over a year now, and I have experienced here in Bangkok, and I have experienced that uh, all of my, most of my clients are not vegetarian or vegan. Would you, would you think that? Most of the people wouldn't think that, but most of them aren't vegan or vegetarian, but they reduce um, animal products up to 75%. So that's, that's how you and achieve your objective as, a, as exactly, an Exactly, but yes. I also see at the same time that a lot of people would consider a plant-based diet if they have the source, you know, if they have the source, because they like it, it's delicious, you know, it's just about how to source it. You know, and um, because a lot of people don't know uh, how to put it together, they don't have the skills and all that. And besides of that, I'm hosting different kinds of workshops in Bangkok, raw food workshops, and I'm also teaching um, how to cook meals, how to prepare raw food to help you, you know, uh, get your diet back under control because that's what's all about. And um, yeah, with easy and quick recipes as well. Yes. So I look at each one of you, what each one of you into as an activist. I think you form a very good team. You know, one person providing. We are education, a perfect team. One perfect team. <laughs> one person. You know, once once a person is educated, then then he or she need to know oh how to prepare good vegan food. Yeah. <laughs> then, then, then you exactly. have yes. So I think a very good team. Now I like <laughs> a few see. more questions from the floor. If uh, f uh, from the floor, if you like to throw any questions, any feedback, any comments, please. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, so my question to all of you three is, uh, we often speak about trying to emulate the meat-based diet. Uh, trying to find uh, vegetarian or vegan stuff that tastes like meat. So why is it so important that it should taste like meat? May I start? Sure. Yeah. Okay, thank you for the question. That's a very good question. Um, well, you know, we've been, a lot of us haven't had the opportunity or the, the, the situation being vegan or vegetarian from the beginning, right? So we started eating meat and fish and all these animal products from the beginning, right? So we are used to the taste, to the texture, to the savory flavors and all that, which is, you know, especially depending on what time you became vegan, with 30, 20, whatsoever, you are, you are, you, it's very difficult and challenging for a lot of people to, to change from today to tomorrow. And that's why it's really beautiful to have those um, products, meat substitute, uh, sourced or, or made from tofu, soy products, or gluten, or lupine, from different kinds of things. And with all these products, you can really um, form a very, very nice texture. And with spices, you can you know, create a nice meat substitute. And it's really all about helping you to transition, yeah, uh, from, from meat eater to, to something that you actually maybe want to aim as a vegan or vegetarian at first and then becoming vegan. You know, it's just a transitioning that helps you, these meat substitutes and also cheese. There are all kinds of substitutes, you know. You can eat everything as a vegan, you know, and um, it really helps you to transition. So that's, in my point, that's, that's the reason why it is out there and um, it is beautiful that it's available. No, this is not an end result. No, no, I wouldn't say it is an end result. The, the, I mean, you have to decide for yourself where you want to be, right? Every one of us has to decide that. So, um, but the optimal diet is really pl a whole plant-based food. Well... You can answer. <laughs> um, well, I mean, obviously, a lot of these these vegan meats are more processed, um, and I personally am all for that if if it gets people off of the an eating animals. And I've been vegan for eight years, and I eat pretty much completely whole foods diet. But you know, there are times when I enjoy enjoy these sort of these vegan meats and I think in moderation it's fine. I think a lot of people who are coming from a standard American diet or a sort of a more junk food diet, you know, it's, it's going to feel almost impossible for them to go straight from that to a whole foods plant-based diet. So I think the more innovation in this area, the more um, research that goes into this area of really creating a rea realistic vegan meats and the progress that's been made in this in just the past 10 years is kind of incredible. Um, I think the closer we'll be to a vegan world. Anything you wish to add? Okay. Next. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, regarding the textured proteins that look like meat, okay. One of the prophets, Ellen G. White, she had predicted 150 years ago that God will raise up people who will know how to make the food that will be palatable to those who are meat eaters. So, food that looks like meat, okay, this is only the transition period because helping people, but just give example of that is, we Indians are used to paneer. We love to eat paneer and curd and uh, yogurt all the time. Every day, if, if possible, we like to have that. So what are we using for the paneer? We use the tofu. 
In fact, it depends on how you make it. We can make tofu taste like paneer. And people are surprised after they have eaten. They say, oh, that paneer is very good. They told my wife and she said, no, that's not paneer, that's tofu. Oh, no, I don't like tofu. <laughs> but the person just enjoyed it. So there's nothing wrong with that, but we should not get stuck to it. That all the life that we want to be eating texture proteins. It is true. Sometimes I'm tempted to eat some desserts. Okay, I, I enjoy desserts. When I see the desserts, Kunkalyani, I cannot resist. That time I forget it's not vegan. <laughs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> but at home, we make vegan desserts. Okay, we make vegan cakes. We teach people how to make vegan. Okay. So let us remember not to get addicted to those things, not to get stuck with those things. But at the same time, learn to make new things. I think there's like uh, 3,000 edible foods that yes. are not animal products. Yes. 3,000 of 3, them. 3,000, that's a lot and, of And uh, that's a lot of variety and yeah. a lot to play with and experiment with and try. So, yeah, I would agree. And if any of you like us to come and do the vegan cooking class for you, let us know. We'll do it free. Okay? <laughs> we do it free for you. Okay? And I forgot. Oh, yeah. Uh, regarding what Maricel was talking about, the uh, animal growing at a different speed than uh, the human baby. Okay. A baby cow has to become a full adult in two years. And a human baby has to become full adult in 20 years. So the average weight gain for the human baby is about 3 kilograms per year. Okay. But for the cow's baby, it's about 125 kilograms per year. So that's a lot of weight to gain in one year. So the amount of nutrients in the cow's milk is for the cow's baby. If you put it in the human body, okay, it is overload. And high protein in the diet has a toxic effect on the growth and the growth is stunted. That is why we are so short people today. Because most of our getting, us getting too high protein. We need, we need only protein that we can get from the plant products, from the beans, especially. For the young people growing up, you need the beans. Learn to eat the beans, not as kanom, but you can make up cow. Okay. You can make your food with that, main course with that. Thank you. Um, I have a question that most of my classmates, they're non-vegetarian. Some of us, like me, are vegetarian. So when we talk, sometimes our talks turn to vegetarian and non-vegetarian. It's, it's like a debate, it's like two teams, vegetarian versus non-vegetarian. And when they try to prove that non-vegetarian is necessary to eat, they say that when we eat chicken, it's like we are balancing the world's ecosystem. And then I just get confused. I'm like, what answer can I give them to make them believe that veg vegetarian eating is necessary part of life? Are they, mean, are they trying to say that humans are at the top of the food chain or something like that? Is that what the, the argument they're making? Yes, something like that. What they say is if we don't eat them, the animals, then there will be too much population of the animals. Is, is that what you mean? Yes. Ah. Okay. Would you like to? Yeah. This question, you know, like uh, we overthinking. We make a question that impossible in uh, that it will, we, we never know. We, it, it will not come true. We just uh, imagine, make a, make a question like uh, the same as if we eat plant, plant cry and can feel pain, something like that. You know, some, sometimes this kind of question, they just make it and we, yeah, make it up. I like and, to answer that and And we, we are not the creator of this uh, living being. So it's not our duty to 
think about that. But if, please say to this, uh, the, per, uh, the people who talk about this, that we should take care of ourselves. Our population of human is over, not animal. <laughs> Overpopulation, yes. I am ask, answering this question from a Christian perspective. Okay. God made the world. God made human beings. He made man and woman. One male, one female. He made all the animals, each kind, male and female. It was only one pair each to begin with. Okay. So everything was balanced. It is because of our sin, our wrong practices, that there is imbalance in the nature. And today, because of the meat consumption, the animal husbandry has uh, adopted the means that are not natural to meet the demand. Okay. They are using hormones, they are using uh, proteins, they are using all of these to speed up the animals to grow up quickly or to breed more uh, babies quickly. Okay. So it's not in the harmony with the nature. If we stop eating meat, okay, then naturally there will be no demand. They will not use all those artificial means and the balance will come back. I would like to just add that uh, it's, you know, sometimes it can be a little bit difficult being vegetarian when you're amongst a lot of non-vegetarians and I think it's really amazing that you're speaking up so well done. Uh, um, oh gosh, what was I going to say? <laughs> Maybe how she can actually talk to them and, and yes, yeah. encourage them. Uh, yeah, so, you know, if, if someone tries to sort of trick you up with these with these uh, questions, you know, you just say, I'm, I'm vegetarian, I'm vegan because I'm against the cruelty of animals, I'm against the mistreatment of animals, I'm against the abuse of animals. And that's sincere and that's coming from your heart and uh, no one can disagree with that. A good answer is that we don't want to make suffering to other. Yes. And uh, let's come back to your question. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, we keep it very short now, yes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It is beyond that, isn't it? Like it's, uh, it is definitely beyond that, yeah. Even the honeybee, even the, the honey. So when you're talking about veganism, how many mm. other aspects do you consider as activists? Like, what do you promote? That's my question. Like, it's just milk and eggs, or are we talking about anything that comes from it? Oh, you mean like products itself? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, okay, so, you know, the definition of a vegan is someone who, ch who doesn't participate in, you know, using or exploiting animals. Um, so that would include honey and eggs and dairy, uh, certain food colourings and these kinds of things. But we try not to get sort of too sort of hung up on the teeny tiny things like, for example, water that comes out of our tap is actually filtered through animal char. Uh, and uh, which is terrible, but um, you know we have to do that. So the definition of vegan is to d do it when it's possible and practicable, and we can eliminate 99.9% .9 of suffering and cruelty by being vegan. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, and you know, there's that tiny little bit there, but I'm sure if we're creative and innovative, then I'm sure we can find alternatives for those things too. And I would also like to add that um, don't worry about, you know, what does veganism mean in perspective of what kind of food are you not allowed to eat now and what food can you eat. It's not, you know, you have, 
It's about being more conscious, being more aware of what you're eating. So, you know, start from there and, and then continue. Um, there is no vegan police, you know, who like calls you and tells, hey, you just had some milk there, you know? It's, it's your own decision. It's your, you have to find your own balance and your own um, rhythm, you know, by, by just um, replacing milk with maybe almond milk in your dishes, you know, just step by step. And as I said, don't worry about that. Uh, just just uh, try to invest more time in yourself by getting more information. Educate yourself, you know, be more aware. Know what you're eating because all these highly processed food that we are having contains so much um, chemicals and just ingredients that are not supporting your health. So that it is that is what it's all about, you know, being more aware of what you're eating and actually knowing what where it's coming from and what impact it has in your body. It's as if we eat suffering thing, come from suffering, that's the suffering energy will make us suffer and we'll attract this, uh, the, the environments or the situation or the person that will make I suffer in the future. This is act law, law of attraction. Yes. Yes. Okay, anyhow, now uh, with the time constraint, a big round of applause to all of them. And I like thank you. Thank you for having us. Yes, I like you to, to remain seated there. And of course, uh, all of you can stand up, please. Please stand up. And, and a, little, a little bit more. Okay. Just, uh, <laughs> what you asked, the first question is just psychology. And yeah. about the. Meat is no, it's, it's awareness. It's, yeah, it's about like, awareness. Uh, you know, like uh, the baby would like to play the gun, right? So we don't give the real gun to the baby. We give the, what, the toy. And the baby can, can have fun in their imagination. Yes. Like the, it's like a process. Yes, like the, like the meat eater. They are just like the, uh, the, the small children, like we teach them. We have to mm. uh, make them like, uh, eat. Meat in imagination, but the real one is not meat, it's different. Okay, now yeah. uh, to conclude, Kun Marisel, you have been vegan for five years. Over, yes. Over five years, Kun. Over. Over, over how, how many years? Eight. Eight years. Mm. Kun Brady, nine. Eight, nine years, yeah. Eight, nine years, okay. So all over five years here. Anyone sit, although uh, I look around 30% of our uh, guests have left, we, we have remaining 70%. Most students have left, of course, they need to go to bed in time. Now, anyone have turned ve vegetarian or vegan, okay? Vegetarian or vegan in less than one month. Anybody? Just in less than one month, you became vegetarian, vegan. Anybody turn vegetarian or vegan in less than one year? No? Okay. Now, in five years, you turn vegetarian or vegan. Anybody here? In five years, in less than five years, less than five years, you turn vegetarian or vegan or oh, nobody? Less than, could, could, yes, yes, please. How many years now? Three years. Can you please join them on the stage, please? Please, please. Vegetarian, all right, it's all right. Uh, as, as of this stage, we recognize both vegetarian and vegan, please. please. Turn vegetarian or vegan more than five years, but less than 10 years. Yes, please. How many years? Six years, Six years please, on the stage. I think uh, both Kunrachini Wan and Dr. Kamaljit Singh, you turn vegetarian when you start joining our movement. Yes, both of you, that's right. When you started joining our movement, you turned vegetarian, including Dr. Gamaljit Singh. Any, anyone, anyone else? More than five years, but let, how many years? Seven years, please, on the stage, please. On the stage. Yes, yes. Anyone else? More than five years, but less than ten years. We can't try. Four. How many years? Three years, please, on the stage, please. Please, come on the stage. Kunmui, how many years? More than 10 years. More than 10 years? Okay, uh, not yet, please, come on the stage. More than five years, but less than 10 years. Anyone else? Okay. So, with, 
less than 10 years on the stage now less than 10 years now those who turn vegetarian more than 10 years but less than 20 years okay please how many years 12 years, 12 years please Kundia, dear, how many years? 12 years, please. How many years? 11 years, please. On the stage, please. How many years? 11 years, please. On the stage. Anyone else? You turn vegetarian more than 10 years, but less than 20 years. At this stage, we go by, by vegetarian definition. Can include, may include eggs and dairy, okay? We, we don't want to be strict at this stage. We, we give you time to, to adjust yourself and, and as you feel convenient, comfortable and ready to give up dairy and eggs. Those who were not born vegetarian or vegan, but being vegetarian or vegan more than 20 years, please. Your hand, please. Yes, Kun Panarat, please. How many years now? 29 years. Oh, please. 29 years. Oh, Ajahn, Ajahn, Ian. More than 20 years, but not born vegetarian. How many years now? 55 years, please, on the stage. 55 years. So. Dr. Art Ong, Ajahn Art Ong, how many years? 40 years, please join on the stage. Kun Nontawat, how many years? 20 years, please, on the stage. How many years, Kun Michael? 47 years, please, on the stage. How many years? More than 20 years, more than 20 years, yes, please, on the stage, please. I'm sure the stage is strong enough. Please. Anyone else not born as a vegetarian or vegan but turn vegetarian or vegan more than 20 years? Anyone left? How many years? Yes, Kunesta from Philippines. 36 years. 36 years, please, on the stage. You don't look that old. <laughs> okay, please. So I think on this stage, the longest vegetarian not being born as vegetarian is Achan E. And 55 years. Okay, you, 60 years now. 60 years since since a little boy. Yeah. Okay. My wholehearted appreciation to each one of you. For me, it was easy. Because I was born vegetarian. I was born vegetarian. I had no choice. I was born in a vegetarian family. Of course, today I have a choice. Today I have a choice. I, I can give up vegetarian. But when I was born, I had no choice. So it was easy for me. But for, was not born vegan. Eh? No, I was not born vegan. Vegetarian. I was born vegetarian. I became vegan 33 years ago. 33 years ago when I realized Something is wrong by continue to consume dairy products. I given up. So I, I, I salute each one of you. I salute. It's not easy, I know, to have given up and especially to move away from your food environment. I'm sure many of your nears and dears, many of your family, extended family, still continue to consume animal flesh, eggs, dairy. Well, a big round of applause to all of them. Thank you very much. Now, last, I like to invite those who were born vegetarian or vegan to join all of us on the stage, please. Born vegetarian or vegan on the stage, please. On all of us. Yeah. I can guarantee you nobody is born vegan. Because I took no kin no match. Please, born vegetarian, please join us on the stage. Born vegetarian and still remain strictly vegetarian today. Please join us on the stage. Yes. Please join us on the stage. Yes. Yeah, that's vegan. That's vegan. Non-vegan means milk from another species. 
milk from the same species is a vegan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, a big round of applause to each one of us. We have got a lot less people seated. We have got a lot less people seated. We like to see you joining us on the stage next year. Okay, 27 anniversary, you have one year time. You have got one year time to slowly move to give up beef, pork, poultry, fish, dairy and eggs. You have one year. Okay, every two months you give up, next two months first give up beef. Then the, within four months give up pork. Within six months you give up poultry. Within eight months you give up fish, seafood. Within 10 months you give up eggs. Within 12 months you give up dairy. So in 12 months you will be vegan. Kun Paul, yes. I would like to quickly share an experience what a power a small child can have. When I was pregnant, I was, we were living in Italy and I have always tried to convince him about vegetarianism. He's 99% vegetarian, although he's sitting there. <laughs> okay. And that's okay. a real geared thing because okay. in his family, they used to cook every day and now probably he eats once in eight months. Very so good. I really thank him. But when I was pregnant, I was in the sixth month. He came home one day oh, from a supermarket. How come you are not on the stage? Please come up. He came home from Please the supermarket and he said, from today I'm going to be vegetarian for one year. And I was like, why? He said, the baby in your stomach has told me to be vegetarian. Oh, oh that's a good one. That's a good one. And I was so shocked. He said, our baby has told me to be vegetarian. And my, our son is born in Italy amongst all non-vegetarian children. But he never wants to look at it. He never wants to touch it. Mm. He's a pure vegetarian. Mm. He studies at Bangkok Patna where there's a lot of food issues of vegetarianism. Sure. And even in Thailand, he says, the only thing I don't like about Thailand is the non-veg cooking on the road. So he walks like this mm. whenever there is non-veg food. He doesn't even like the, the smell. And now in Bangkok Patna, I have taken an initiative, which I would really like to share, is to go there and convince them to start vegetarian cooking for vegetarian children. So I personally went there with a few mums and we taught them vegetarian cooking. And from last week, they have started serving vegetarian Indian cooking every day for all the children and such good feedback is coming. So if we all join hands, we can make a difference to this world. Sure. We all can because as mums, especially as women, we have the power for our children to do anything. Mm -hmm. I knew every time at lunch, my child is not eating anything mm. because he won't look at anything which is non-vegetarian sure. and there were no vegetarian options. Sure, very good. So very when good. a mother goes there, they cannot say no because our heart can be so strong for our children. And I really appreciate that we all make these small changes. Thank you, Gunpal. Sure. Thank you. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. Now we, to, to close. I have this one. Yeah, just very short, Sorry. very short, yeah. <laughs> Those of you who are thinking of becoming vegetarian, and many of you are afraid that if you... Many of you are afraid and you think that if I don't eat meat, I have no strength. Do you know why? Because all flesh has purine. What is purine? It's a cousin of caffeine and nicotine. So we need to get rid of this purine from our system by drinking plenty of water and exercising and sweating it out and through urine and all that. But instead of getting this out, because that is what yeah. increases, uh, it stimulates our system. So when it stimulates our system, we think that we are feeling strong by eating meat. But actually you're not feeling strong. It's artificial strength. It is not from the meat. It is from the poison in the meat. So once you give up meat eating and your system is cleansed from all the toxins, you will not have that problem of feeling weak. You will feel strong. So because you feel weak, if you don't eat meat, that's the only reason you should stop eating meat. Very good. Thank you. Now to end tonight, we like to take a group photo. 
Uh, we like to have all our guests of honor first row, and then we have standing second row, and then standing on the stage. I think we could fit all three.